Hello, YouTube folks. Welcome back to my Dark Souls 2 playthrough. This is part four. I'm get five. Uh, this is part 45. I'm not sure I'm gonna record this whole playthrough. I'll warn you guys now because this game's fucking long. We'll see what happens. If people were digging it, I might just keep going. Yeah, wow, I never got to come in here on the PS3. Aw, oh, man, I died so much my beard disappeared. You, I, I really like this uh, that new sort of feature. You look more and more like a zombie the more hollow you become. And you'll notice that... I mean, I've still got a couple little chin hairs, but mostly... Mostly I died so hard my beard fell off. What a depressing fade. I wonder if I can... Oh, I want to check out the big book. I want to read... Yeah, that sounds like a monster. Like, inside the wall. So no shit he heard some disturbing noises. Oh, nice! A lockstone. Can never have too many Pharaoh's lockstones. You can use those on these mechanisms later in the game that change things about the level. Some of them more useful than others. Yeah. Oh, there's the three little pigs. Right, that's what's making that noise. Those guys are pretty tough for monsters that appear in the starting area. You don't want to fuck with those guys. So, I wonder what's this way. Uh, let's check out upstairs first. Looks kind of creepy in that direction. I will write up your message of praise the sun. You can never praise the sun too hard. Maybe I'll become a sun bro, not a uh, blue sentinel, but I do like being blue sentinel, so I don't know, we'll see what happens. Oh man, I can get the drop on the three little pigs with a dropping attack. I'm not going to, since I don't really have any particular desire to actually fight those guys, but I technically could. Ooh, box. Ooh, Titanite Shard. Three Titanite Shard. Nice. Well. Looks like that's about it up here. Time to go check out the other path. What does this say? Skeleton ahead. I ain't afraid of no skeleton. I've got one inside me right now. What the heck is this? This looks kind of worrying. There's like this weird sand pit with all these blood stains in it. I'm gonna avoid standing on that for the time being. Oh, that's not a real chest. It's one of those fake chests. How'd this man die? Okay, so he was fighting somebody in the staircase and then he was killed. Uh, what about... I'm trying to figure out what the deal is with this sand pit. There's definitely fights happening up here. I'm pretty nervous about... You know what, let's just... Okay, so... They're being attacked from... Maybe this is just an area... to fight in. Maybe this is a PvP thing? I don't know. I don't know what I'm seeing. I never came in here in PS3. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be some enemies down here, and then maybe it's going to be hard to fight here, so I lure them up. Yeah, so... Yeah, it would be kind of tricky to fight him in there, so I'm going to lure him up here to where all these other people died. Seems like a reasonable stratagem. Probably seemed like a reasonable stratagem to them, too. Of course, they all died. The difference is, is that I won't die. I'll just almost die. Alright, get him with the backstab. There we go. That's how I deal with skeletons. Human effigy, nice. Can never have too many human effigies.
All right. So far, so good. Quite something, huh? What is this? Estus flask shard. Nice. Can never have too many Estus flasks. Impossible. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Well. What an ominous looking chest. What an ominous chest. Let's open it and hope we don't die as a result. Might be trap. Nope. Oh, nice. A soul vessel. Sweet. Illusion ahead, huh? Illusory wall. Alright. Um. It certainly looks like an illusory wall, but. It seems like a pretty legit wall to me, actually. Yep. I think that's actually just a wall. Getting the distinct impression it's, it's just a wall. Let's move on with our life. Right, how could it be a loser? There's the other side of it. Couldn't really go anywhere. You know, I'm a little bit disappointed. I kind of thought there'd be more to see. Poison? There's no poison. Oh, I, uh, the skeleton had a bleeding sword. That must have been what he meant. So this must be the map. Because he's talking about some giant stone map. This looks like it could be a map. Yeah. Doesn't seem like there's anything else to see here, so. I wonder what happened to Dude Bro. Kale, shouldn't he be here? Can you interact with it in some way other than bashing? No, no. Normally, if there's an illusory wall, you, you would attack it, and then the illusion disappears. But. As far as I could tell, that was just a wall. There's not many ways to interact in this game other than hitting things. Hey, kitty. Oh, undead, are we? Yes. And one without much time remaining. Hey! Just about ready to fall apart, I'd say. Hey! Just because my beard fell off, that doesn't mean I'm gonna die. With a cat. <laughs> oh, come on. It's always time to chat with the cat. Suit yourself. Oh, yes. You may call me Shalqua. Enchante. Hello, Shalqua. So, what did you want, anyway? Ooh, you smell wonderful. Aw, oh, thanks, lady. Uh, I can't remember what she sells. But now, I do remember. Nothing suited you, I presume. Well, that's dismissed. See you, lady. I left a message here on the PS3 version that got a pretty good rating. So I'm going to leave uh, something similar. I think it was... Um, Charmer ahead. No, I fucked it up. Charmer ahead, therefore... Try, um... I think last time I said try trapping inside, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something different. Let's see, how about... stick with trapping inside. I could say try exchange. That might make more sense. 
I was just thinking, you know, trap the kitty. For some reason, like, it doesn't really make any sense, but for some reason, people really enjoyed this message on PS3, so I'm just gonna leave it there again. And hope it gets more ratings. Because I like more ratings. Alright, so, let me just...